Hello, I'm the harpsichord maker Peter Barnes and I've been working on this instrument. Uh, it's been a joy to work with because it's beautifully made. Um, it is based on a harpsichord a spinet or virginal action in that um, there are jacks, uh, traditional jacks, plectra, tongues and they pluck the strings when these levers are activated by the player mechanism. My first task was uh, replacing a string and tuning the instrument uh, with a tuning lever uh, using all these tuning pins which are normally hidden by a beautifully made lid. After that I had some work to do on the jacks. Uh, the axles that go through the middle of the jack here uh, to the other side here were rusty and so the tongues wouldn't move um, they had to be, all the axles had to be taken out, cleaned, and the hole for the tongue enlarged slightly um, to make these uh, all click back into place when they go past the string on the way down. Um, having done that, um, these pieces of paper on some jacks are glued on to reduce the movement forward and aft in the guides. Um, so I've done that. I've put a little piece of leather in at the bottom of the what's called the tongue here to tilt the tongue back slightly um, so you get a slightly longer plectrum length um, before between the string and the um, jack. Um, having done that, um, I took out the uh, old plectra which had gone very brittle and hard and replaced them with new uh, Delrin plectra, that's a plastic material, um, with a little, um, little soft wood uh, plug underneath um, to hold them in firmly. So here we have the mechanism plucked by the barrel of the instrument. These levers push up the bottom of the jacks. And the little plectra pluck the strings on the way up. So here I am uh, removing the original plectrum which is in there. Pushing it from the front to the back. And this piece of softwood is then inserted in the hole and then I'll cut that into a little plug. The plug is now in the tongue and I'm putting this plectrum in above it, pushing it in from the back, making sure it's nice and firm, using a knife to trim off the back, checking that it's the right length. Having tried it in the instrument, I need to trim off a little bit of the length by putting the plectrum on a block and cutting there. And I also need to thin it slightly and it's more flexible and it's not so loud. So now we're ready for our mechanical lutenist to pluck his strings mechanically as far as I dare.